yourself. Let's do the topic. <laughs> I have a question. Because we did a college, the little ranking deal, and we openly are talking about players, if they lose, they're going to sit out. And, and it's, I, I don't have the, the ability to be passionate. And it's a struggle because the NIL thing, in what I sent you guys, I want you guys on a personal level to extract the most offensive thing you read in the article, which is essentially, hey, the schools are making a bleep load of money, but we're passing the savings on to you mm -hmm. to pay these players. And, and Rico and I have said this. I, I, I just don't know anyone in my sphere. And it doesn't matter whether you'd be a $100 a year, $1,000 a year, or certain people in my life who, who, if they wanted to drop a million, they could. No one is doing NIL. It is universally mocked. It is something you are better rolling your money into a cigar and smoking it than you are doing NIL. There is no ROI. And now, if kids want to extort you three weeks later for a better contract from Paducah State, they can do it. So when you read what some schools are starting to do, in the name of NIL, I want you and David and Kenny to come to the forefront. Mm -hmm. And I'm interested to see what you found most offensive and does it impact, A, how you feel about the sport, or B, your, your viewing habits or your spending habits if you are a ticket holder? Yeah, I'll go first, guys. For me, I think what I saw was, and I like to term it, this is the college version of the stadium grift. Meaning, you have super billionaire owner who says, hey, guys, I really like to stay here in your city, but I need a new stadium, but I'm a little short on funds. So can you, the voters, please just either give this to me tax-free or just help me pay for it? That's what's happening now because you're saying, you're seeing that the schools, especially locally, Michigan, Michigan State, we're going to tack on extra expenses to your ticket. And now it's even moving over. And now I'm going to set David up like Chris Paul with an alley-oop. They're even saying maybe we add it to the tuition. David, the floor is yours. That is where I found the problem. <laughs> because right now in this article, it said that Clemson, they want to raise 7 to $8 million. So they want to add just $150, which is called an athletic fee, per semester to tuition. But I know that's just the beginning. It's going to increase year after year. And what I see is the future of what my household looks like. In four years, you talked about it and we were talking earlier. Four years, I'm going to have a son in college. So now you're asking me to pay on top of probably $55,000 or whatever tuition is at what university he wants to go to. Now you're adding this fee that I have no choice over. I can't say no to. That's the problem. Hey, man, those cupcakes ain't cheap. <laughs> but, uh, it, guys, it's the principle. Yeah. How dare you? Of course, you? yes. How dare you? Now, if you want to add it to the cost of the ticket, well, that that's a decision you mm -hmm. have to make, that I'm supporting the program, mm -hmm. and okay, fine. You start adding it to that, or you start adding to concession prices. I mean, I, everything in that article is real, guys. See, what really gets me is we're not addressing the biggest thing. You are making a ton of TV money. Where's it going? You, it, it's, it's almost like the lottery in the state. Oh, it goes to here. Where? To the schools. How much? Because most teachers I know are crying broke. Where's the money going? Hundreds of millions of dollars. And think about this. If you just took 10%, David, if they tithe the money, just 10%, you would have $10 million dollars as a little, you know, you can do whatever you want. You can spend it on whoever you want, buy new stadiums, new players, whatever. It doesn't come out of students, tick season ticket holders, no one. And if the kids walk away, it wasn't your money. It was the TV money. It didn't hurt you. But if you're a ticket holder or you have tickets you've pondered leaving, when you hear that you may be upcharged to support NIL or it may be on tuition, or it may be on concessions. What What is your viewpoint? Look, I'm out of the season ticket game. I left a long time ago because MSU doesn't know how to treat their fans. But let's say you're a Michigan fan. Look, the products at both schools are terrible this year. And when you look at it and you go, wait, 
this is what might happen next? Kenny, when you read it, what, what was your initial take? Uh, the, uh, my initial take was from the ticket holder perspective going, what is this TV money going for? What What is this for? What is this money for? You're upcharging me. You are, you're making money hand over fist with these deals. Why am I being charged so that you can run a program that I want to see? That's what bothers me the most as a, as a potential and ticket And my holder. biggest thing is this, and I know we're up against it. I'll just say it plain. I've arrived at a point where I don't think 90% of these players deserve a penny. And I'm all for players getting paid, but the reality is 90% of college football players aren't worth the jersey they wear. Oh, sure, there's 10% that are difference makers. Mm -hmm. A Trey Harris at Ole Miss, a Carson Beck at Georgia. You know what they're called? Future NFL players. Yes, Travis Hunter. But the reality is 90% of these guys aren't really worth their scholarship. Oh, and now these are the same players. Look, I got news for you. If you don't think your favorite team, Michigan or Michigan State, has got a guy making six figures who's a backup, you're sadly mistaken. The horse has left the stall here. And it's just, it, as Rico put it, it's the new stadium grift. It was a great piece. It was by the AP. And I'm just like, <laughs> wait till David sees this. Tuition. 248 539 9797.